welcome back to my channel. My name is Lena. Today we're going to be doing a virtual tour of the vacation house my parents just bought. These are the only photos we've seen that in the Airbnb listing that I will post in the description below. And that's all we have based our decision to buy this house off of. So I'll walk through everything that we've seen um, and maybe some of the changes that we want to make, just some small tweaks. I'll point some of those out and I'll even point out some of the differences between the Airbnb listing and uh, what's on the Realtors website just because a few small diff changes have been made and then one really big one that if you've seen the Airbnb listing you'll notice right away. But before I jump into this video, I just want to give a shout out to the Columbus Blue Jackets Foundation. Uh, they're selling these awesome shirts as we go into playoffs. So first hockey game is today, the day I'm filming. So i uh, got to give my team some love. If you are interested in one, I will link where you can get these shirts in the description. But after that, let's get touring. So the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna have my computer screen right here in front of me. I will not be looking at you the whole time. Just know that that's what I'm looking at. And right over here, I am going to have the video of my screen so you can see the pictures as I am looking at them. So, as you can see, this is the front of our house. It looks like every other Florida house. After house hunting, we realized that every house kind of looks the same, kind of neutral colors, the same architecture, palm trees, the work. So, this looks very standard for all Florida houses. Um, as we keep going, this is the living room. Um, on this right side of the picture, that's where the front door is. So when you walk through the front door, immediately to the right is going to be these couches. In the Airbnb photos, there's a clear glass coffee table. For whatever reason, for staging the house, they move that to the back living room, and I'll show you that and show you where it moved. But um, that's one of those changes that I, that's we're gonna reverse, and we're gonna put the coffee table back in the front room because it makes more sense. So. This is when you immediately walk in. As we keep going, this is the dining room. So just again to the right hand side of the screen is the living room that was in the photo before this and then the front door. So when you walk into the front door, this is just one big open room with the living room and then the dining room right next to it. This is where you're going to see the first big changes that we want to complete. So the dirt green wall, we want to turn navy. We're, we were already looking at paint chips for that. The pairs don't feel very Florida, so we want to make that into a more Florida, beachy, not really sure, but um, something more fitting to the house and the location. The lighting, uh, mom's not a big fan of really any of the lighting. So anywhere you see a pendant or um, a chandelier type thing, those are fairly outdated, so we do want to change those in time. We're pretty happy with the dining set, the table and chairs, so you'll see those in there for a while. I keep scrolling. Here's a view of obviously the living room and the dining room. Again, this photo is being taken from the front door, so as soon as you walk in, that's what you are seeing. And here is the view when you're standing on that back wall, which will then lead into the kitchen, but that's where you can see a different angle of those two spaces. So where the photographer is standing in this picture, if this person turns around, this is what you see. This is the kitchen. This is where the biggest change has been made since the Airbnb listings. Um, the appliances have all been updated. So they were an almond color in the Airbnb listing. And on here, they're now stainless steel. So brand new, um, anyone who stays in the house now will notice this stainless steel. Uh, there is a rug on Airbnb that is no longer there, which is a little sad for me because I really liked that rug for whatever reason. But this is all very uh, neutral. We like how this looks a lot. We just want to change some of these frames and the tchotchkes. We want to um, amp those up a little bit. Again, this lighting fixture we're going to end up changing as well in time. Um, that's not something we're going to do right away though. And as you see all the way through, there is the family room. And I'll keep looking here. This is just another view of the kitchen. We believe these sliding doors are a pantry. Um, again, not sure. We haven't been in the house yet, so we'll have to do that tour and figure out what's actually in there afterwards. And we want to turn this little nook space next to the fridge into a coffee bar, so that'll be really nice. There's plenty of countertop space and cabinet space, so uh, designating it as a coffee area should be uh, really appealing. And I 
love coffee. I'm obsessed with coffee. So I will personally help with that because I really want to see it happen. So we'll keep scrolling in between that wall of cabinets, which would be on the left side of the screen. There's a little dining area. Everything here looks pretty good. This furniture looks really solid. Just want to change some of the uh, decorations on top. Those tchotchkes, they just feel kind of outdated, but are super easy to fix and don't make or break the, the vacation for anyone staying there. And here you get a little more of a view of the family room. Um, where this doorway is here, it leads to, uh, I believe, two of the bedrooms? Two of the bedrooms, maybe three. That's something we have to figure out as we walk in the house because we have no idea what the real layout of this place is. So bedrooms and a bathroom over here and then along this right wall is considered the master bedroom. If we keep going, here's a better view into the living family room. Um, here's that coffee table I mentioned. You'll notice that has moved from the Airbnb listing, uh, flat screen TV, we have no plans for changes in this room right now, but I'm sure in time we'll want to change these framed pictures, probably this artwork, make it feel more coastal and more cooler tones instead of these warm tones. Warm tones feel very Ohio to at least me. This is the kind of stuff you would see in central Ohio where we live. And so we want our house to feel Florida if we're traveling to Florida. And we recognize that vacationers want the same thing. Scrolling down. Just again, another view of the family room. Here's that door to the master bedroom. Here are the frames. Another example of a very small change, small tweaks we wanna make. So we keep going. This is a view from the living room into family room. I keep changing, he uses interchangeable family room, living room. They're the same thing, but they're not. Anyways, um, that, that eating area, and then the kitchen from a different angle. This is a door here. Again, we have no idea what it actually goes to. Could this, this may go to the garage. This could be the laundry, but I think it's in the garage. This could be another pantry. No idea, we'll figure it out, I guess. So here's the master bedroom. So the room that is just off, I'll scroll up and show you this door here. That leads to this bedroom. The curtains, we all want to change the wall hangings. All of the main furniture is going to stay the same for the time being. We don't really have the money to completely change every furnishing. The house is furnished. I forgot to mention that, which would have been really helpful at the very beginning, so I'll probably make a note of it. But the house comes furnished. So we do want to change all of the bedding. Uh, that'll be one of those first changes we make in time within the first year or so. This chair, random chair, that's one of those things that they changed for staging. It does belong in the bathroom. It's got that vanity area where the chair fits. I will be moving that when I visit the house for the first time and I'll touch on that at the end. This door here leads to the ensuite and there's pictures of that coming soon. Here's just another view of that master bedroom from the ensuite. It's a really big room. I believe that's a king size bed. So plenty of space. Um, there's probably a TV in this armoire, but there's no pictures. We don't actually know. So here's the ensuite. This bump out here, this is where the chair goes. That's where it is shown in the Airbnb listing. So we're going to move that back. It makes more sense here. There's a walk-in closet here. We don't know it's in that walk-in closet, if anything. So that's something else we have to explore. Big jetted tub. There is a shower where this photo cuts off. We haven't seen in that shower yet. Um, as we scroll down, here's back to the living room. And these next photos, we're gonna move into this hallway here where the other bedrooms and other bathroom are located. Here is one of the guest bedrooms. We're probably gonna keep this bedding the same. This is the best bedding in the house right now. Um, I really, I really, really hate the Minion and the Simpsons characters. I wanna throw them out. The number of times I tell them, as we're talking about this house and the changes we wanna make, I'm throwing away the Minion. I have nothing against Minions, but it does not belong with Olaf on a bed. Hear me out. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with me. Minions and Olaf, they don't go together. Anyways, on that note, here's the bathroom. <clears throat> um, this is 
accessible from the hallway as far as we know. We This should not be an ensuite. Um, we already have a shower curtain picked out that we are going to change, so I'm really excited for that. I will um, detail these small changes as they happen in real time, but that is a big change. Brown is just not a good color. Banana leaves, even though they seem Floridian, that brown just kind of ruins the whole look. Doesn't even match the color of the cabinets, but it's a small thing that's super easy. Um, coming down, this is the, um, the other bedroom by that bathroom, all ac accessible from that hallway very princess very disney which isn't a bad thing in a vacation house but we think there's a more tasteful way we can do it so that bedding again all of the bedding we wanted to swap out but that bedding will change in time and we think it's just a little too much for this space if you want a bunch of couples to do a retreat in this house for example you're they're not going to want to stay in a princess room so we want to make it more all age appropriate and not just for a seven year old girl we keep going, and this is the final bedroom. I have no idea how you access this bedroom. No idea how you get there. We'll find out, I guess. But here's where the door is. Um, this comforter has changed since the Airbnb listing. So if you are looking for this bedroom, it has a different bed spread. We like this one better. This one will probably stay for a little while longer, but we'll, we'll see as we go through the house in person. Here's a garage. It is a game room, which is super awesome. Most vacation homes in Florida, we found have that game room option in the garage. If you're traveling to Florida, you're most likely not gonna have your car. And if you do, it's not gonna be a big deal keeping it in the driveway for the time being. So obviously the pool table, air hockey table. We can see from the Airbnb listing that there is a ping pong topper to go on top of the air hockey table. So that's even more entertainment. This dartboard is a different dartboard than the listing, the other listing, but um, it's the same activity, all the same. So this is the backyard. Um, we didn't really want to have a house surrounded by backyard neighbors, but it's, sometimes it's inevitable in a neighborhood. Um, but we got a nice pool, tons of deck space. The house is obviously to the left side here. There's even more space here. If you look at it from the from Airbnb, you have a better view. That photo from that angle was not taken for the selling, but if you want to know what that looks like, that's where you can get the better view. There's an umbrella. Uh, it looks a little more upscale from that angle. No hot tub, unfortunately, but it's really warm in Florida, so you're not always going to want a hot tub, especially in the summer months. So scrolling down, here's just another angle of the backyard. Again, plenty of deck space. A decent sized pool, really good for end of the day when you're ready to cool off and um, unwind for the evening. So here's the neighborhood. Lots of houses in here. It's a really good sized neighborhood. We're smack in the middle of the neighborhood, which is really good for safety. Um, and I'll touch on some of the neighborhood features here in just a couple seconds. But um, this is obviously an aerial view. Here's a view from the back. Um, again, it looks like your standard Florida neighborhood. It's not going to feel like where you're from unless you're from central Ohio. So keep scrolling. One more view of the neighborhood. Um, I've heard really good things about the area. This was an area we were looking for specifically. It is just south of Disney World. It's in Kissimmee, um, but it is west side of Kissimmee. Got to do the soggy waffles in my head. West side of Kissimmee. Um, it's, it's a much more quiet area. It's a less kitschy, touristy area than the heart of Kissimmee is. We didn't love that area as much. It doesn't feel as resort-like. And so that's one of the bonus, bonuses, benefits of this house in particular. And so what you're gonna see here is what we believe to be the entrance of the neighborhood. So it's called Emerald Island. You can kind of see it here. Uh, it is a gated community. So I believe you will get a code from either my family or the management company when you go to, when you arrive for your visit. Uh, so there's 24 hour security, which makes it incredibly safe. As we scroll here, there's a fabulous clubhouse pool, really nice pool, hot tub. There's a bar back here. This is all included with our um, homeowners association. So if you stay in this house, you get access to these amenities. It's gonna be, close enough to the house that you can do this 
if you don't want to go out in public. This is one of those great things. For a social distanced vacation, you do have all of these amenities as if you're staying on Disney property just without all of the insane theming. In the clubhouse, there's a workout fitness area, there's a sauna, there's computer stuff, anything you would anticipate in any other resort or even an apartment complex, that's all gonna be available to anyone staying at the house. So just one last view of the front of the house. So there's so many great things about this house. Like I mentioned in the first video and a few times throughout this, any changes we wanna make are super small. So just some bedding, a little bit of paint on the walls and changing some pictures. So um, those will happen in time. I, myself, I have the honors of being the first person to tour this house. So uh, thanks to COVID, I was able to get $30 round trip flights to Orlando. I will be going in two weeks, just a little bit after closing on this house. And I will do a walk through with my mom on Skype. I will probably record that conversation so that you can see what's going on as we walk through it in real time. And I will be making a few quick adjustments like moving the coffee table and moving the chair. I will switch out the shower curtain right away. We have already have that purchased. So a few quick changes that will hopefully make a big difference in the long run. So I'm so excited to go down August 15th, I almost said April, it is August already. Oh, I almost did it again, August 15th. It's a Saturday, I will be flying down, I will record everything and I will plan probably two or three videos from that trip that will be uploaded each week upon my return so I can get them edited and everything for you guys. So I'm so, so ready to be down there after all of the hard work we've put in and all the time and effort that has gone into buying this house in particular. I'm very excited and ready to see it in person for the first time. So I hope you'll join me on that. Thank you for touring the house with me. Uh, it's really fun to see it again, even after I've seen it probably a hundred times at this point. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and comment below. I don't know, just comment. Comments are cool, I'll favorite them. I read them, I definitely do. There's not many of them yet, so. Um, yeah, thanks for finding me again. I hope you will come back every Friday. I will be uploading a video. My next video is gonna be that Shop Disney unboxing that I teased in my first video, so. Stay tuned for that and I will see you all soon. Thanks, bye.